Hello chess lovers, I have another fascinating game for you played by the second world chess champion Emmanuel Lasker. His opponent is Enrique Del Monte and the game was played in 1906 in Havana. This was a chess simul and Lasker started with e4, e6 by Del Monte, black goes for French defense, d4, d5, knight c3 and d takes e4, black is choosing the Rubinstein variation, knight takes e4, bishop d7, knight f3, knight e7, well usually in this position black is placing the bishop on c6 square and later the knight on f6, but black played knight e7, a bit passive square for the knight, bishop g5 h6 bishop h4 bishop c6 bishop d3 knight d7 queen e2 bishop takes e4 well actually there was no need to capture on e4 this bishop was standing pretty okay on c6 square but we see bishop takes e4 queen takes e4 c6 white castles king side and queen b6 looks like that black is not thinking about moving his king on a safer square. Playing g6 and then bishop g7 and preparing castling kingside would have been better, but after castling kingside we see queen b6, c4, knight f5, of course if we move like queen takes b2 then simply rook b1 and then white can capture on b7, this can be catastrophic for black. Let's go back, after c4 black played knight f5, but it turns out that this is a fatal mistake and allows Lasker to go for a mind-blowing combination. You can pause the video and try to find his next moves. Ready? Did you find this fantastic queen sacrifice on f5? What a move! Lasker is simply using the fact that black king is stuck in the center of the board and after e takes f5 here comes the rook, rook e1 check, bishop e7, rook takes e7 check, king d8, well black is trying to protect the knight on d7 but it was better to place the king on f8 square, if rook takes d7 then g5, if bishop g3 then f4, trapping the bishop, though after bishop takes f4 and then knight e5 still white has a very dangerous attack, but after rook e7 check we see king d8, bishop takes f5, look at this powerful monstrous eyeballing at black king, knight f6 and now white is simply capturing on f7, with so many pieces on the board Enrique del Monte can't even help his poor king, rook e8 which is losing on the spot well, Queen a5 could have prolonged the game, though after knight e5 black should give up his queen, otherwise if a move like rook g8 protecting the pawn, then simply rook d7 check and then rook d5 discover check winning the queen, it's over. Let's go back, after rook takes f7 we see rook e8 and rook d7 check using the fact that the knight on f6 is pinned, king c8, rook takes g7 check, Lasker is starting to make use of the windmill tactic, king d8, well if king b8 then bishop g3 check and again black king is getting checkmated, that's why we see king d8 but now the bishop is simply capturing on f6, rook e7, rook takes e7, well instead of capturing on e7 with a rook, actually bishop takes e7 check is winning faster, if king c7 then white has a very beautiful move, can you find checkmate in two? Ready? Actually this bishop d6 check is winning on the spot, now if king d8 then rook g8 checkmate and if king takes d6 then rook d7 checkmate. But Lasker missed this line and instead after rook e7 he captured on e7 with a rook. Queen a6 and now comes the knight knight e5. White pieces are simply dominating the position. Queen takes c4 a desperate move but Lasker is not even paying attention to this poor queen. Rook f7 discover check and after king e8 we see bishop d7 checkmate. What a game! These pieces are simply smothering this poor king. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave your comments. Good luck!